एवरीवन वेलकम टू द लास्ट अपडेट ऑफ द वीक 19 जुलाई एफ आई इज बॉट टूडे ऑल्सो डी आई इज सोल्ड टूडे ऑल्सो नेट नंबर लुक वेरी यूजल नॉट इंडिकेटिव ऑफ एनीथिंग बिग राइट नाउ इन मेनी अपडेट्स आई हैव सेड दिस इज नॉट द कंप्लीट पिक्चर वी टिपिकली टॉक अबाउट दिस नंबर व्हिच इज द कैश नंबर सो आई स्टार्टेड एनालाइजिंग अ बिट ऑफ डेटा दिस इज अक्रॉस मल्टीपल प्लेटफॉर्म्स कोलेटेड इनटू अ बिग एक्सेल द एनालिसिस इज स्टिल नॉट कंप्लीट आई एम ट्राइंग टू एनालाइज द कैश डेटा इंडेक्स फ्यूचर्स डेटा ऑप्शंस डेटा अलोंग विद निफ्टी डेटा फॉर लास्ट वन मंथ to see what FIAs are up to on the budget day. The analysis is still not complete. However, right now everyone is expecting that FIAs will crash the market on the budget day. The data is indicating that FIAs are actually long as of 18th July in all three segments. But take it with a pinch of salt because analysis is not complete. Also, I am not an expert. Last five days they have bought. This was a sell. but again previous 5 6 days they have bought minor sell here this was again a big buy index futures also significant buying very less selling wipro's results are out not good at all revenue lesser than expected expenses lesser than expected because revenue is less operating profit a tad lower than expected opm is high i expected 18 they have given 20 net profit is higher than what i expected 2% less tax higher than usual other income promoters have only little reduced their stake fis as expected have increased dis have reduced but very little public have reduced very little a lot of viewers were not happy the way i was talking about persistent but persistent stock reflected what i was saying about the stock for last one week or so down 6.7% now i am still saying persistent will probably be among the first stocks to recover and reclaim new heights it is still a fantastic company wipro adr is tanking 8% down hdfc adr hdfc adr pre open is looking okay infosys finally the relation is setting in the adr is indicating a fall 3.4% today's results ultra tech got a thumbs down in the day itself but today the entire market was down the numbers did not look good at all very little growth jsw steel also terrible results wipro i feel it is terrible so overall a thumbs down day there is one more thumbs down needed here reliance name is missing here somehow but today reliance is releasing the results as i shoot tomorrow is hdfc bank now there was a big outage earlier today window systems were impacted flights were impacted airports banks everything was down elon musk does not leave any chance to have fun crowd strike which was responsible for the outage says they are sorry wipro results the fine print quarter on quarter down 1.1% percent no one talks about quarter on quarter these days annual comparison with 12 months back is okay rils results started at 4 o'clock the results are appearing at the same speed at which the marriage happened perhaps it is 7 o'clock right now and still the results are not complete jsw steel profits fell 64 percent this is the largest steel company this will set the tone for the other steel companies also this perhaps reflected in the metal index today wix is not actually moving at all it is going up but only 2.17% 15% this is not reflecting the chaos that is generally being expected next week infosys the jubilation from yesterday continued however it tapered down significantly over the day people who have gone long early morning today or bought recently are on holding on in fee they might be sorry for their decision i sold itc yesterday to raise money but itc is looking good on the charts everything else was bad when reliance is down 2% nothing else matters in the stock market gold corrected silver corrected oh boy wipro is reflecting 10% down in adr in live prices now infosys down minus 2.72 HDFC minus 0.20 in the ADR. The Bitcoin down a bit. Indian rupee weakened. Brent corrected. Nasdaq is not reflecting good stuff in the US. Crude will cool down if this number continues to be red. Nifty today was down a percent. Bank Nifty was down 0.67 percent only. Nifty IT was held together by Infosys. TCS corrected half percent. All greens for FIIs. All reds for DIIs. Nifty Energy. crack 2.7% nifty next 50 is an index of 50 stocks that corrected 2 and 1/2% defense corrected 3.2% 
as a sector. That is why I was saying there was no place to hide today. No point in talking about charts in details, just some patterns. When TCS was going up, Airtel was going down. When ICICI was going down, Infosys was going up. This is not a coincidence. This is being done to manage the nifty levels so that the VIX does not rise too much and nifty is in control. People don't do panic buying or panic selling. See VIX gradually up. Reliance usually either goes down continuously or goes up continuously. Kotak Mahindra really really choppy today. ICICI choppy, SBI choppy, PNB continues down, Access Bank choppy continues down, Bank of Baroda down, Indusind down, HDFC choppy but down, Defense Pack everything was down, many stocks actually fell a lot in the last one one and a half hours significantly. This was a big sell off. 3 to 4%, 5% down for everything today also. Volumes were not very high besides HL and BL. That perhaps reflects lack of demand, not lack of sellers. Metals have been looking bad. Look at these cuts. I've been saying this for more than a week that metals are not looking good at all. Extremely high volumes. People were perhaps dumping their metal portfolios today. Everything is off the 52 week highs. IT sector biggest loser for the day was persistent. Tech Mahindra next 3.12%. Infosys up 2%. But this corrected significantly from the day's top. See, this is the day's opening for Infosys, 1820 plus. This is the closing level, closing at the lowest point of the day. Energy sector was bleeding the power producers, all of them down and down with big cuts. NTPC down 3.5%, power grid 2.65%. The cuts were not as deep as 4th of June, but today reminded me of 4th of June. Thankfully, I exited Chennai Petro a couple of days back, 15%, but I bought MRPL. The day I bought MRPL, I had said it only causes losses. Now I am at probably 60, 70,000 losses in just one stock. Big volumes on the oil pack. Similarly, most stocks, even in power producers, had high volumes. Everything is suddenly looking away from 50 to week high low. Terrible market breadth. Only one sector was up. Food and tobacco, that 2.01%. The biggest laggard led by Reliance was oil and gas, followed by auto. Metals, electric utilities, heavy machinery, banking, aerospace, automobiles. Maruti was down a percent, but big cuts in all other players. Tata Motors 3.3 percent, MNM 2.5 percent, Bajaj Auto also 2.5 percent, Madarsan Sumi 6 percent. But this sector is still very close to 52 week high. There is a lot of scope to fall. Coal India down 3.5 percent. Construction and engineering today, rail stocks recovered. RVNL was up 4.7 percent. It was actually up a lot more earlier in the day, but rest everything was down. Cement entire pack corrected. I bought Dalmia Bharat a day back that corrected 5 percent. Adani Enterprises down 3 percent. DMART down 1.5 percent. On 4th of June, the consumption pack actually did well. They closed probably 3-4% up. Today, the consumption pack also was not spared with an exception of ITC which was up a percent. Big cuts in Nestle, Mariko, Patanjali, Adani, Wilmer. As I speak, RIL Q1 results are just out. Seems like a 10% increase. This is probably year on year. Yes, 2.36 lakh crore this June versus 2.1 lakh crore any year ago. Investment banking, deep cuts, heavy machinery down today also. This sector has corrected nearly 10% or perhaps more in the last 2-3 days alone. See metals and mining, the entire pack, especially the steel pack was killed today. Not getting good vibes at all for the budget and the economy. Natural gas, everything down. Oil and gas, everything down. The most defensive sector, pharma also down. Real estate, big cracks. Consumption pack, big cuts again here also. Telecom, all top players down. Within this mayhem, I did not buy anything. I did not sell anything. I was just a silent spectator watching from outside today. Nothing to report on the cash side. Option side, I'll discuss. I expected this to bleed. So I had mentioned this number will be somewhere like 1 lakh today. It is however not that bad. Nifty, very small trade. Asian paints, the first thing I did today was get rid of the July positions. So first thing on Monday, I would have got an alert from Zeroda for the margin call. There was a 25,000 loss booked as a result. Now I have still shorted, but in August, this position is in minor loss right now, 5,000. This position has to recover a loss of 20,000. So it has to go up 25,000 right now to make some money next week. But thankfully, I have time now to rescue the decay I'll have to handle. So I'll have to 
add some hedges here. I will handle all that on Monday. Infosys, I expected Infi alone to be 1 lakh actually. It is not that bad because Infosys corrected significantly towards the end. See the graph. This helped me. Here, thankfully, I had actually taken August position yesterday. So there was no rush to sell. I attempted some small trades, but they didn't help much. This is a position I have to now rescue or succumb to next. I have gone long on Reliance. I am anticipating good results. In any case, Reliance was down 2% today. I don't expect the Ambani's to give a bad result two days after the marriage. But this time I've taken a hedge. So worst case, the loss would be 11,175. Overall, not a great ending in option options for the week. Many of you at this juncture may actually already be in about 10% kind of losses in many stocks. Even I am in loss in many many stocks I mentioned about for example MRPL. Even IRFC the new position I took few days back that is in loss. I have couple of defense positions remaining shipping companies those are in loss. So don't be afraid or don't be in panic mode if you are in losses. This is a part and parcel of the game. Don't do panic selling at this stage. Don't try to generate cash now. That stage is gone even if Monday markets open slightly gap up or even gap down. This is not a time to book losses right now. If you book losses in any stock which is not a good buy, maybe you make a mistake. Don't be on cash at this stage. Enter a new position. If you are on cash, maybe you might want to wait a little longer. See what the FM has in store. It is okay to let go of 5-10% profit then take a speculative position. Look who's talking here. But being on cash may not be a bad idea. I am confused on the FI action like I mentioned earlier. I have to spend a part of the weekend understanding what they are up to because this will decide the move of the market. I'm getting a hunch that everyone is expecting the markets to fall. It is already falling since yesterday. So this time FIs will probably not be a part of the fall. There is an expiry on Wednesday for banks and Thursday for the index. FIs will party on these next two days, not on Tuesday, which is the budget day. That is my general feeling. Spend the weekend creating your own conspiracy theory. Have a nice weekend. Have good rest. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on Monday.